This Belton Bee garland takes a little bit of time to make, but it's really easy and it's a great decoration for your home for the entire autumn season. For this project, you will need orange, dark brown, and tan felt, paper and pencil, scissors, craft glue, cord or filament, and a needle, and some beads. The first thing that you want to do is probably the trickiest part, and that is to draw a pattern of both the oak leaf and the acorn. A good trick is to go online and find some clip art of these um, that you could print out and copy, or um, you can just look at for a freehand um, reference. But it, remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. Nature isn't perfect and it'll be just fine. Now I like to get um, the shape and then I'm gonna fold this in half and cut out the pattern that way so that both sides are even. You do want to leave a long enough stem um, so that you have room to thread these on and put a bead on there. So make sure that you leave a stem of at least about a quarter of an inch there. Now you notice I'm not cutting this out perfect. Okay, the acorn is actually going to be two pieces. We're, we're going to draw it as one piece just so we make sure it looks right. Um, again, you want to leave an ample stem there that has enough space for a needle to go through and a bead right there. The acorn cap is rounded on both sides like this, comes in just a little bit at the ends, and then you're going to scallop the edges. And then for the acorn part, start just a little bit in from the edge and make an oval with a slightly pointed end. Okay, so the way I'm gonna cut this out is I'm gonna cut out the cap. So then to make the acorn, I'm gonna cut out this reference piece. And then I'm going to cut out a pattern again, but I'm going to leave a little bit um, at the top here so we have some room to glue on that cap. So I'm going to trace that because I thought it had a nice shape. And then I'm going to go just a little bit above and add some gluing room. Now you want to decide how many acorns and how many leaves you're going to have on the garland just depending on um, how long you want it to be. So this is the part that's going to take a little while is cutting out all your shapes. So put on a good uh, TV show and the easiest way is to trace the patterns rather than trying to cut around them directly. So I'm going to do the acorn on the tan and cut out as many of those as I need. I'm going to do the cap on dark brown and then we're going to do the leaf on the orange. Now glue the caps onto the acorns. Just use a thin line of craft or fabric glue. and let those dry before you continue. Once you've got all of your felt pieces ready, thread the monofilament or cord onto your needle and cut it for as long as you would like the garland to be leaving just a little bit extra so you have extra space on the ends. I'm gonna start with a leaf and run the needle up at the edge of the stem Then I'm going to thread on one of my beads and go back down, leaving a little gap between the stitches at the other edge of the stem. Well, this is going to be um, hard to keep this untangled because you've got a long cord, but um, do your best. If you decide to make a really 
long garland, one tip is to just bring this first piece to the middle and then work from both ends instead of trying to do one end from the other. Then you want to go to the back of the stem and just make a little stitch there and pull it through and this will keep your leaf in place where you want it to be and it won't slide around. Now we'll do an acorn in the same way. Bringing a stitch up from the back, adding a bead and going back down through the stem. Pull it all the way through until it's in the spot where you want it to be. You can space these however you want. I like to do about two and a half to three inches in between. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and take that little stitch on the back to hold it in place. As your string gets shorter, it will become much easier to keep it from getting tangled. Okay, so continue on and until the garland is as long as you'd like it to be. Once your garland is finished, it's time to hang it up on your mantle or in a window or even on your Thanksgiving table. Please subscribe to my channel for more holiday craft ideas and other ideas year round. There's new episodes every week so you don't want to miss any.